Soledad O'Brien with a warm welcome from the famous Fontainebleau Hotel. As a matter of fact, visits Miami. It's a city known as a vacation destination. Miami is home to an expansive skyline of high rises, miles of beachfront living, and unique neighborhoods like Little Havana. It's one of the largest urban areas in the country with 5.5 million residents. More than half are foreign born. The largest ethnic group, Cuban Americans. Last November, Francis Suarez, a Cuban American, came to office winning more than 80% of the vote and promising to usher in a new generation of leadership. We sat down with Mayor Suarez at the Inter-American campus of Miami-Dade College. Mayor Suarez, so nice to have you with us it's today. To so you uh, have been in office as mayor since November, so yes. a few months. Give me the lay <laughs> of the land. How is Miami? Um, how, how's, it, how's it doing? Oh, we're doing well. I mean, I've been a councilman now, commissioner, what they call a commissioner down here for eight years. So I have a great uh, understanding of the way the government works. When I arrived eight years ago in 2009, the real estate bubble had burst. The sky was falling. We had a $115 million deficit. Uh, I mean, everything seemed to be going around. Two of the five commissioners indicted, and that's what I... That's what I inherited when I came in as a commissioner in 2009. By contrast, today, we now have $160 million in, in surplus and in, in uh, what they call uh, you know, uh, surplus revenue. We have a, a city that's grown 50% in the last five years and 37% in the last three years alone. So we've turned it around completely. But like with every city, we're an urban city, we have challenges. We have uh, challenges with transportation and congestion. We have challenges with affordable housing. Let's talk about some of those challenges. Um, 27, nearly 28% of the people in Miami are um, below the poverty level. And that's almost twice as high as the national poverty level. How do you tackle something like that as mayor? You know, we, we have what I what I like to call the tale of two cities. We have a city that's booming, that's that's extremely wealthy, and, and unfortunately we also have a city with a tr tremendous amount of poverty. And I think you attack that on the on the expense side of the equation with affordable housing initiatives, uh, which I've done as a commissioner and I'm going to continue to push as mayor. You also have to have uh, inexpensive transportation because one of the three uh, largest expenses in, in a household is uh, obviously food, transportation, and shelter. And then I think you do it on the income side by making sure that we have the best educational system for our children in the nation that understands that we are in a knowledge-based economy. Your father was the mayor, yeah. and you were saying he was younger than, than you are yeah. now when he was mayor. He was 36. But he looked you're, older. You're, <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah, of course. What kinds of things did you take from his tenure as mayor um, that you apply today, if anything? Many. Uh, the, probably the one that's most uh, predominant for me is the fact that he was always in the community. People have to feel a sense of hope that things are going to be better. And I think the only way to do that is to be present in our communities and to use that youth and energy to be in touch with our residents. There's been an influx of Puerto Ricans into the state of Florida, yeah. uh, some of them coming here to Miami. Sure. As a city, we're no stranger to a significant amount of, of immigrants coming Historically, in. Historically, we've had a couple of those. Historically, we had a few of those. And we embrace that as a community. I think that's something that makes us special. Uh, that inclusion and diversity is what separates us from many other cities, I think, in the world. And I think it's why people continue to want to come here, not just from places like Puerto Rico, but from all parts of the world. What are the national issues that are playing out right now that are affecting Miami? I think immigration is one of them, without a doubt. Certainly, um, I think we are uh, a, a, a sort of a national model of what a city can be and should be and will be in the United States when you consider how much uh, immigrants have, uh, recently arrived immigrants in particular, have contributed to the economy, to the quality of life, and to the way that it's growing. So I think that's something that we want to protect zealously, and that's something that we um, sort of have as a badge of honor, if you will. Mayor Suarez, I was going to say thank you for joining us, but really, <laughs> Thank you for having us in your city. Thank you for being here. I think this is the best city in the world, so we're really appreciative to have you guys. 